Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be looking at every mob that you can't get in Super Flat Survival and going over some fun ideas for how Mojang could tweak the game to make them all accessible. This is sort of a part two to last video where we talked about everything you can't get in Super Flat and came up with ideas for how we can make all the different blocks and items available. I loved reading your ideas in the comments. You guys had some crazy good ideas. A link to those guides is in the description, by the way. Now, speaking of comments, I got a lot of people saying, dude, why not just customize your super flat preset? Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against custom worlds. I think each one's a unique challenge. I think however people want to tweak the game to have the most fun is awesome. I mean, that's like the best part of Minecraft. Even the official presets that Mojang provided with the game are pretty solid. You know, Tunneler's Dream, Waterworld, Snowy Kingdom, Desert. Each one has their own fun meta and I might even do videos on some of these presets if people would be interested. The reason I focus on Classic Flat is that my world's 10 years old. I don't wanna start over at all. <laughs> I wanna keep it as vanilla as possible. That being said, the cool part about these ideas is that most of them would allow you to get all the mobs on other single biome challenges, like those presets I just talked about, or Skyblock, or I know even some people are doing nether-only challenges. And a few people in the comments were like, why even play Super Flat Survival? Who, who, who the heck plays that? Just just think of it as a cool challenge, like Ill Mango's Peaceful Challenge, Skyblock, Hardcore, there's a million different little challenges and communities in this game. There was actually an awesome server back in the day called Flatcore, and it was full of super flat survival players. So the community may be small, but we do exist. And sort of the whole point of my channel is to try and grow that community, because I think it's a really fun challenge worth playing. Anyways guys, that's enough preamble. Let's get into some ideas for how to get all of these unobtainable mobs. Oh, and one more disclaimer, I guess. I know basically nothing about Bedrock Edition. Some of you pointed out that stuff like cocoa beans and bamboo might be available on Bedrock. Mojang, please just make the games more similar so this is less confusing. I'm begging you. It makes it so hard to make videos. Now, I will admit that some of these mobs probably shouldn't be added to Super Flat. I, I understand that a lot of what makes them special is the fact that you have to explore to find them. So some of these ideas feel pretty natural, while others are a bit of a stretch. But for the sake of completeness, I wanted to come up with an idea for each and every one of them. Now, in in the last video, we talked about a way to get snow and ice. By the way, the Wandering Trader sells packed ice and blue ice, not normal ice. Few comments were confused about that. And just to repeat this, because I get a ton of comments about it, you can't get snow on Java Edition Super Flat. You just can't do it. When they increase the world height, they also increase the snow height. It's impossible. But the simple tweak you could do that we talked about in the last video is just to make it snow above Y256, which is the old height limit. That would allow us to get the snow golems. It would also allow us to collect powdered snow in a cauldron to use on a skeleton and convert him into a stray. We also, in the last video, discussed turtle eggs, which could be bastion loot since the piglins love to stomp on them. And in the last video, we discussed some ideas for how to get elder guardians and guardians into super flat. And this was definitely one of the weirder ideas in that video. So I'll just let you go back and watch that there. But all the rest of these mobs were unaddressed, so let's cook up some fun ideas. Now, I will admit to you guys, there's only a couple mobs on here that I'm like actually sad that I can't get. Parrots, because it would just be fun. Wolves, because it's fun to have a pet dog, you know? But most of these aren't super necessary, so it was pretty hard to come up with ideas on how to incorporate them. So I will warn you, some of these are a bit of a stretch. And really, most of these would be solved by just giving biomes to super flat, but that would be a really short video. I did get one comment that said you could make a special biome beacon that would change the biome around the beacon. That would be a cool way to do it, but I still wanna come up with a unique idea for each mob. The best thing to do for the extinct mobs, first of all, would just be to reverse the biome locks. I really think rabbits should spawn on plains biomes. It just doesn't make sense that they don't. The axolotl being removed uh, from everything but lush caves does make sense, but I think you could just give the bucket of axolotl to the wandering trader, he already sells bucket of tropical fish and bucket of puffer fish. And for the squid, I understand why they made him only spawn in water biomes, but what I would suggest to Mojang is to reuse the code that they wrote for fishing. You see, we used to be able to make these amazing fishing AFK farms that were really broken, really OP. And the way Mojang fixed that was by making it so that you could only fish up treasure by fishing in a large body of water. They could just use that same mechanic on the squid so that squid can spawn in any biome, but only 
only if it's a large enough body of water. That way you don't get squid clogging up your farms and stuff like that. One of the people in my Discord also had the fun idea that maybe you could shear a glow squid and it would turn into a regular squid and drop glowstone dust or a glow ink sack. For salmon, I would just give bucket of salmon to the fisherman villager. He already sells bucket of cod, so you could just put it in that exact same slot and make it a chance between bucket of cod and bucket of salmon. I'm actually not sure why that isn't already the case. That one seems to make a lot of sense to me. For parrots, I really couldn't come up with a good one. So I just thought kind of a funny, cheeky little thing would be to make it so that if a bat gets struck by lightning, you get a parrot. I mean, it would make it really, really hard to get, but it would just sort of be a fun thing. And I always kind of loved the lightning mechanic in the game. I thought it was so cool how different mobs that got struck by lightning would turn into slightly different mobs. So. Let's just add more of that. You could do the same thing for the cat. So just make it so that a stray cat struck by lightning turns into an ocelot. And that's also my idea for the mushroom. You could just make it so that a regular cow struck by lightning turns into the red mushroom. And it's already the case in the game that a red mushroom struck by lightning turns into a brown mushroom. So that'd be kind of like a fun chain of events. An alternative idea is maybe you could just make it so you can breed regular cows with mushrooms and whichever color mushroom you use ends up spitting out that corresponding mushroom. I don't know. Moving on to the neutral mobs, I really struggled to come up with an idea for a polar bear. My best idea was if they added the chillager or the isolager, whatever he was called, maybe he would spawn with the isolager. Kind of like the wandering trader has his trader llamas or pillager raids have their ravagers. Panda bears was another hard one. I kind of had two ideas for this. You'll notice at pillager outposts, they sort of keep iron golems in cages. Maybe pillagers also keep panda bears in cages. Pillagers are jerks. Panda bears are an endangered species. Yeah, that's something they would do. Another way you could do it is I think on bedrock, there's a chance that you get a baby zombie riding a panda bear. You could make it like an insanely rare spawn. For goats, I think it would make the most sense to just have them spawn a above Y256 if there's snow. Goats love mountains. I, I could see it making sense that they would be able to spawn in a plains biome above Y256 as, as long as there's snow. For wolves, I was really struggling to come up with an idea. One idea is like maybe having raw meat on a campfire like encourages wolves to spawn so they can come steal your food. Kind of like how wolves originally got tamed by humans way back in the day, tens of thousands of years ago. <laughs> You know, back in the day before days were invented. Another idea is you could add like a super rare zombie variant, kind of like the husk or the drowned called the werewolf and curing it the same way you do a zombie villager with a weakness potion and a golden apple would convert it into a wolf maybe. That one's a bit of a stretch, but it's the best I got. Last but not least for dolphins, I think one way you could do it is make it so that they have a chance to spawn within the range of a conduit. So if you made conduits available on super flat, then you would also be able to get the dolphins. Another idea is just make it so that regardless of biome, they can spawn in water if there's like enough coral around. And for husks, we had kind of a fun idea, which is you could take a zombie, drown him to make a drown, and then put a sponge down next to him and he would turn into a husk. But of course, this would require them to add sponges to super flat. But guys, I think that's it. I think we've covered every single thing that's not in super flat and come up with at least one idea on how you could add it to the game. Maybe they're not all good ideas, but we at least came up with ideas. Like I said, guys, it would be really fun to hear your ideas in the comments. So if you think you have a better way to add in one of these missing items, blocks or mobs, please let me know. But guys, that's about it for this video. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I've got a ton of great content on the way. And guys, you've got one last chance to like the video before it ends. It's ending. Quick like it. Guys, you're almost out of time. Yeah. Ha ha ha!